What is an animal's mating ritual you're glad humans don't have? Coral. Mating time. Just jizz in the water with everyone else at the same time in the hope you find one of the eggs floating past. Ooh yeah. Sixy time. Giraffes the males repeatedly headbutt the females in the bladder until they piss themselves. Then they taste the urine to see if the female is in heat. I'm sure some of you freaks are into that but still. Tasmanian devils. The male holds the female hostage in her own den until she becomes pregnant, which could be days. She does violently chase him from her den after she's pregnant, but I can't imagine those days trapped with him are pleasant. Scorpion males are smaller than females and are often hunted by them. In order to reproduce the male must lock pincers with the female and then drop a packet of sperm on the ground. He must then maneuver the much larger female over the packet so that she gets the sperm inside of her. This whole time the female is trying to eat the male who, after his tango with death must run away or become lunch. In 2019 researchers found that the song of the male white bellbird can reach levels of up to 125 decibels. This makes it the loudest bird ever recorded to date, crushing the previous record holder, the screaming piha, which has been recorded up to 116 decibels. The worst, best part, depends on how you look at it, is that it performs at its loudest when the female is on the same branch, screaming right at her, which is enough to even cause hearing damage in the female. Imagine walking into a bar, and just screaming at the top of your lungs, popping the eardrums of every girl in the bar, just to announce that you're single. Edit. YouTube. Com. Watch. V equals D V K D U J V P S Y here it is for the curious. Hippos sit and twirl their tails propeller style to impress their mates. And if Gloria is interested, she will take a dump on Moto Moto's head, which is something I am glad humans don't do. When snails mate, they just stab their betrothed with an enamel spike called a love dart, the pegging gastropods. Moose. They make a ditch, fill it with piss. Trample around to make some delicious pissy mud then splash around so it covers their whole body. Breeding season. A lot of animals only get the chance once a year. Seals. When they hear a couple mating owl the male seals nearby will try to join into the action. During this frenzy males will fight and kill anything in their way including baby seals. Koalas. Besides that horrifying screams that they produce, there is no actual mating ritual or even mating season. Koala males straight up rape female koalas whenever they please. I heard boy cats have prickly penises, like having six with a cactus, no thanks. Anglerfish. Females are humongous compared to males, so rather than doing it the old-fashioned way, the male will bite onto the female, his insides will slowly turn to mush, and he eventually fuses with the female, depositing sperm in the process. Pretty metal. Ferrets. As cute as ferrets are. They have a horrible mating ritual. Basically, the male ferret, called a hob, has to maul the ever-living sit out of the female ferret, called a jill, to get her to ovulate. If humans did this, is would make it a lot easier to avoid accidental pregnancy, but would also make it very obvious when a woman was trying to have a child, not sure if spousal abuse, or just trying to get pregnant, would be a common sentiment. Salmon. They're born in freshwater, swim sometimes thousands of kilometers to get to the ocean and live out most of their lives. Then when it's time to mate they have to make the same journey back to where they were born except this time upstream against the current. And on top of that, the majority of salmon die after spawning. Imagine living your entire life knowing it all leads up to you making a grueling several thousand km journey just to bust one nut and die right after. Squirrels will kill the kids then mate with the mother. Imagine being a kid and a guy breaks in and kills you just to have new kids with your mom. Peacocks. Cause I can't dress to save my life. Male frog. Let me inflate my body to three times its natural volume and then blast it out in the noisiest way possible. Girls love this sit. Female frog. Your self-inflation pettish has seduced me. Grab onto my belly and fertilize the water with your male products as I squeeze out a huge mass of absolutely disgusting jelly blobs. Many species of insects have what's called traumatic insemination. Basically mommy bug doesn't have a angina so daddy bug stabs her and makes one. Or how about snails? Who are hermaphrodites? To determine who is going to be the one who lays the eggs, they shoot sperm darts at each other and whoever gets shot gets pregnant. Male antichinus refuse to eat or rest during mating season. They will smash non-stop until their body begins eating itself. By the end of their mating season, the corpses of ragged males litter the breeding grounds. Pretty sure certain female spiders eat their sexual partners after they're done. Some type of aquatic animal. Octopus I think, detaches its penis and gives it to the female because it can't be bothered to mate. I'm quite attached to all my body parts. 
the way the roosters just clawed the holy bejeebus out of the hen's back. No thank you. My nails couldn't take that kind of abuse. Horses. Well. Mares anyway. Spontaneously urinate when they're in season and they're near a stallion. It's completely instinctive and I get the impression that it'd be quite embarrassing in humans. Many garden birds have a ritual in which the male pecks the female's cloaca empty of the sperm of previous mates before having his own go. Imagine if men would suck out previous partners. Sperm before having sex with a woman. I have imagined and I am very sorry I did. It would be hilarious to watch drunk guys ram each other's head to compete for mates. Adactylidium. From Wiki. Adactylidium is a genus of mites known for its unusual life cycle. 1. The pregnant female mite feeds upon a single egg of a thrips growing five to eight female offspring and one male in her body. The single male mite mates with all the daughters when they are still in the mother. The females, now impregnated, eat their way out of their mother's body so that they can emerge to find new thrips eggs. 2. The male emerges as well, but does not look for food or new mates, and dies after a few hours. The females die at the age of four days, when their own offspring eat them alive from the inside. Thorny Eagle Death Spiral the female bedbug lacks a angina so the male makes his own by stabbing them with his penis. There are many, but to name two, bees. The male's dig rips off, and all of his guts spill out upon completion of coitus. If you can call it that, idk I'm not an entomologist. Also, eagles. Evidently they do some some complex mating ritual, which eventually results in them locking claws as they fall to the ground. Much fewer fatalities than the bee thing, but there's still a chance of making birdie pancakes, rather than baby eagles. Edit. After some cursory research, male honeybees and mate between 7 to 10 times before they frock themselves to death. Final edit. Bald and golden eagles. Should have just stuck with my first draft LMAO. I'm happy cloacas are not a thing. Horses are one of those species that frock for a little longer than some. It's because the male has to jam the tip of his penis into the cervix to ejaculate in intrauterine. Not necessarily a mating ritual. But female hyenas give birth through their cleat loris, which is only one inch in diameter. Ducks. They pin each other down and pretty much rape each other. I watch a lot of hummingbirds around my backyard. I love them so much. But let me tell you, being a boy hummingbird trying to snag a mate has got to be the most terrifying thing. They fly up quite far, dive bomb almost into the gravel multiple times. And when one looks like a pretty clear catch, another male bird will come out of nowhere and attack him. Then come and have the audacity to sit on my feeder and make eye contact with me, with an enemy's feathers stuck to his face. God. They're precious. I don't know if it counts, but female lions bite male lion's balls while in the heat. Elephant seals have terrible mating rituals. A male will force about 50 females together on a beach as his harem, and will mate with them while biting them to keep them from fleeing. Usually other males will be attracted, and the beachmaster will rush over to fight the newcomers potentially rolling over and crushing some of his own offspring. They'll slam and bite each other bloody, and the winner grabs a female and mates in triumph. Japan had a famous bull elephant seal, Manazo, who lived at a marine park. He was nicknamed the Lulrus by internet communities and became a meme everyone who was online in the mid-2000s should be familiar with him. Octopus because I don't want to just rip off my arm which is also my penis and give it to some girl to use then throw away a really encephalopod because that would involve me sticking my arm penis into her face angina. Those big ass slugs. They create a daisy chain. I don't understand how it works but I'm glad humans don't have it lol. Slugs. They are hermaphrodites and in order to determine which of the two individuals will be the male seed, they gnaw at each other's penis until one of them snaps off. You can see it happen in this video. YouTube. Com. Watch. V equals 5 KQIO 9 FCAPM and T equals 95. Black Widow. The name says it all. Also. The Praying Mantis. The female will kill the male after mating by chopping off his head. Gives all new meaning to. I'm dying to get laid. Well I'm pretty jazzed I don't have to tear off a testicle every time I want a nut like some spiders do. Ever watch Planet Earth? Those birds that clean up an area of the forest floor, then spread stuff to accent that area usually all the same color, then start dancing. And if the female is happy the birds mate for a few seconds. Imagine going through all of that just for a few seconds. Lock and key. A lot of dogs get their dig locked into the female's angina for 10 to 15 minutes. Imagine if your girl moaned a different guy's name when you came and you had to sit there for 10 to 15 minutes in awkwardness. Holy crap. 4. 2k upvotes? Thank you guys so much. It's not a ritual it's a sign of being an estrus. 
Those huge, swollen butts that some female monkeys and apes get when they're in heat would be so awful. Just seeing them move around when it's their time doesn't look like it's painful, so I presume it's not. But as a human, that much swelling and redness never comes without significant pain or itching or some other seriously unpleasant feeling. So, yeah. Peacock Spider. The male dances to attract a female. If the female approves, he is allowed to mate. If not, he becomes her next meal. Giraffes. Mating process is comically awful. Male begin by checking if a female is ovulating. To do that, a male giraffe will kick her repeatedly in the bladder until she loses bladder control and pees. The male then tastes the urine to see if it contains the hormones produced during ovulation. I saw a nature film where a female jackal will bring her chosen mate back to her family for a meet-up. Her father and brothers will surround him and scratch up dirt while urinating, soaking him in a mix of piss and mud. Hippo's ritual of making sit fly everywhere with their tails. Just no. Hyenas. The male has to enter the female's cleat loris, which is a pseudopenis that they also then give birth through. Blarg. Dolphins are the biggest douches out there. They gang rape the females. Some females even drown because of it. Whatever is that thing bedbugs do. A lot of animals mate by having sex. I'm no expert, but I can certainly say that it's never happened to me. Dogs get stuck during mating because of a process called a copulatory tie. It is also one of the main stages in the process of intercourse. The male dog has an organ called the bulbous glandus, which is responsible for keeping him tied up with the female. The dog breeding tie basically keeps the semen secured inside the female dog. The bulbous glandus expands and gets locked in the uterus, and the female dog gets higher chances of getting puppies. You could never pull out, that's the true doggy style. Male buffaloes pretty much do a long continuous groan towards the female's angina. Needless to say, my girlfriend hates it. Male cat penises have spines to keep it inside until they're done. I'll take a hard pass. I don't like my angina hurting after six. Ducks. They're cute rape machines. There's an arm race going on, where males evolve a penis that's meant to be as efficient as possible for raping females, while females evolve twisted anginas meant to make rape as hard as possible. Read about it. It's fascinating, horrifying. Porcupines. So much erect penis pee spraying and screaming. And then of course the risk of the act itself. The only good part is they do it once a year instead of frequently. But still. Duck mating is a solid pass from me. The Suriname toad keeps its eggs in its back the eggs infuse with the skin. When the eggs hatch the tadpoles will live inside the skin of their mother until they have matured into young frogs and squeeze out. Not sure this counts as a mating ritual but here am. YouTube com, watch, v equals u cowl x j p 5 w c. Male angler fish attach themselves to females. Making the tortoise six noise. I think the praying mantis or the black widow where the female bites off the head after six. Like damn girl, damn. Well since brood x is out, I'm gonna say cicadas scream until you have six then die. Female spotted hyenas have pseudo penises, or gigantic mega cleats just as large as the male's penises. The females and males greet each other by displaying their erect penises to one another. Three days of the year, they are in heat. Spotted hyenas give birth through their frocking cleat loris penises. They give birth through a one inch diameter hole, and pups come plopping out of their monster cleats. It's such a chaotic experience that it's not unheard of for the cleateral tearing, ripping to be so bad. The female dies. The tearing always happens when they give birth. TLDR. Hyenas give birth through their monster cleats. Male sea turtles stand on the back of the female sea turtle to mate for 24 hours. Giraffe's bra. To check if the female is ready for s asterisk x. The male drinks her urine. Not sure if it counts as a ritual, but periodic cicadas. They live underground as larval nymphs, sucking xylem from tree roots. For years, 13 or 17, depending on the species, that's all they do. Then. A brood emerges from the ground, thousands or millions strong, each one climbs a trunk or branch, molts one final time, and then the males begin to sing the song of their people, non-stop, for the rest of their lives. The males and females mate, the females usually once, the males as frequently as possible, the females lay their fertilized eggs, and then the adults, the ones who have not been eaten by predators or crushed by human accident, all die. When the eggs hatch. The new generation of larval nymphs burrow into the soil and the circle of life continues. Literally any of the birds of paradise. Like, I don't want to watch some stupid ass dance by a flamboyantly clothed dude who is just trying to get laid and isn't picky about who he bangs. Backslash. Slash. 
A lot of insects like to eat their significant other after mating. It's weird. I really don't want to sing into the void for days like how birds do just to get some action. Spiders and scorpions just hand off bags of sperm to the female. That'd be pretty lame.